In this video we share Fatima visionary Sister Lucy's vision of the Holy Trinity. Sister Lucy died on February 13, 2005 at her Carmelite convent in Coimbra, Portugal, after a long illness. Living in isolation in the cloistered convent, Sister Lucy had reportedly lost her eyesight and hearing in the months preceding her death. Saints Francisco and Jacinta Mato were canonized by Pope Francis in ceremonies that took place at Fatima on May 13, 2017, the 100th anniversary of the first apparition there. Both Francisco and Jacinta had died in their youth, in 1919 and 1920, respectively. Sister Lucy made a rare journey outside the Carmelite cloister to take part in their beatification ceremony at Fatima on May 13, 2000. Sister Lucy describes her great vision of the Holy Trinity. Being alone one night, I knelt near the rails in the middle of the chapel and, prostrate, I prayed the prayers of the angel. Feeling tried, I then stood up and continued to say the prayers with my arms in the form of a cross. The only light was that of the sanctuary lamp. Suddenly the whole chapel was illumined by supernatural light, and above the altar appeared a cross of light, reaching to the ceiling. In a brighter light at the upper part of the cross, could be seen the face of a man and his body as far as the waist, upon his breast was dove of light, nailed to the cross was the body of another man. A little below the waist, I could see a chalice and a large host suspended in the air, onto which drops of blood were falling from the face of Jesus crucified and from the wound in his side. These drops ran down onto the host and fell into the chalice. Beneath the right arm of the cross was Our Lady and in her hand was her Immaculate Heart. It was Our Lady of Fatima, with her Immaculate Heart in her left hand, without sword or roses, but with a crown of thorns and flames. Under the left arm of the cross, large letters, as if of crystal clear water which ran down upon the altar, formed these words, Grace and Mercy. I understood that it was the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity which was shown to me and I received lights about this mystery which I am not permitted to reveal. Our Lady then said to me, The moment has come in which God asks the Holy Father, in union with all the bishops of the world, to make the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart, promising to save it by this means. There are so many souls whom the justice of God condemns for sins committed against me, that I have come to ask reparation, sacrifice yourself for this intention and pray. I gave an account of this to the confessor, who ordered me to write down what Our Lady wanted done. Later, in an intimate communication, Our Lord complained to me saying, they did not wish to heed my request. Like the King of France, they will repent and do it, but it will be late. Russia will have already spread her errors throughout the world, provoking wars, and persecutions of the Church, the Holy Father will have much to suffer. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.